Hey everyone, welcome to Sidetrack Adventures, this is Steve. Right now I'm in Arizona, and this is Lake Havasu behind me, but today's video has nothing to do with the lake. It's a mystery of Google Maps. Before coming out here, I was looking at the map, and I came across the Yonder Vortex, and I was like, what the heck is this? And I zoomed in on it, and I didn't really see anything there. But there's only one way to find out what this place is, and that's to head out there. So today, we're going to go to the Yonder Vortex. So we've made it to Yonder Park, where apparently the Yonder Vortex is located at. Now, from what I've read online, Yonder Park is not named after any person, but for the view from here, where apparently you could see out yonder, there's not that great of a view from where I'm standing yet. All I see is a bunch of houses, but maybe once we get inside, we'll see a little bit of better view. But let's go take a look and see if we can find the Yonder Vortex. So here's Yonder Park. Let's go find us a vortex. So it looks like we found the first effect of the vortex. This grass has been turned into plastic. This thing is more powerful than I thought. All joking aside, the vortex should be right up there. Now I admittedly don't know a lot about vortexes or vortices or whatever, as it's not something I've ever really had any interest in. I know that a lot of people go to the Sedona, Arizona area for vortexes, but it's not really my thing, so I had to look up some information on them. Apparently vortexes are centers of energy that are conducive to healing, meditation, and self-exploration. The Earth is supposed to be especially alive with energy at vortexes, whatever that means. This is my first vortex, so I don't know what vortex energy feels like. I also read that you could find vortexes all over the world, at places like the Great Pyramid in Egypt, Machu Picchu in Peru, Stonehenge, etc. This isn't something I personally believe in, but maybe I'll feel some energy at this vortex and I'll change my mind. I just hope there's something up here because right now this video is just me exploring a neighborhood park. If anyone watching has ever had any sort of experience at a vortex, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely interested to hear about it. Well, it looks like we have a vortex viewing bench up here. So I've made it up higher, and there actually is a pretty good view from up here. You can definitely see out yonder, but this small hill behind me is supposedly where the yonder vortex is located. So let's walk over to it, stand on the vortex and see what happens. See if we get transported to another universe or feel any kind of mystic energies or anything like that. So, I'm on the Yonder Vortex, and I can honestly say, I don't feel anything. I appear to still be in the same universe. I don't feel any kind of energies or anything like that. I don't feel closer to nature. Maybe I'm just not in tune with the world. I'm not sure. But here I am at the Yonder Vortex. A mystery of Google Maps, and I would have to say, mystery solved. The Yonder Vortex is a dirt hill in the middle of a small neighborhood playground. I may not be feeling any energies up here, but this is a pretty great view. I don't know, maybe I'm just doing the vortex wrong, but this view was worth the drive. Maybe 
if you come out here you'll be different and you'll actually feel some energies or something but for me yeah yonder vortex is a a hill with a great view so there you go but anyways thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and we'll see you next week